Hello guys, welcome to Apya Saranya. Hope you guys are doing well. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Today I'm going to talk about Love, Faith, Marriage and Divo Season 2, Shin Yu Shin, his mistress Amy and his wife Sapiun's story so far. So let's get started. Well, Shin Yu Shin is the luckiest of all the three men in this drama. Sa Pyeong is still unaware of his infidelity while he is living a colourful life with two chocolates in his hands, one his wife Sa Pyeong and other his mistress Amy. So he's having a great time taking care of both the women, going out, sleeping with them and enjoying his life as if there's no tomorrow. Aha, uh -huh. let me add cherry on the top. His stepmother Dommito. So he's having a cool life with the three women around him taking care of him. Until until that day Sapyong spotted Amy wearing his puffer coat. And by seeing the burnt mark inside the puffer coat, she realized that it's indeed her husband's. And later at home, she told him about the puffer coat. And he was like Maybe his friend had given to someone else and that someone might have given to that girl. And as usual, being truly blinded in his love, she believed him. But one thing that happened for sure, he realized that soon his cover might blow out. So he thought to break up with Amy by giving her one month period of grace time, you know, to enjoy their life at least in that one month. And later... Woon got to know where Amy is staying and when Jin Yushin got to know about it, he was more scared. And later, Park Hyun spotted Amy and Shin Yushin riding the horses together. They seemed to be very much in love to his eyes. And when Lee Seon told that to Sa Pyeong, she immediately went to the horse riding place only to find Shin Yushin alone. Well, his name Shin means God. So God is always with him in the name of luck. So before Sapyong could see Amy, she got a call and she rushed over. As usual, Shin Yushin started to tell her that how can he cheat her and Pak Hairun just misunderstood him and that he's not like Pak Hairun. So his wife believed him again. But by seeing the continuous things of how his affair with Amy might come in front of his wife, he cut on the grace period of one month and broke up with Amy, giving her a Ben's car and a cake and a plant with a letter. Well, there's a whole thesis behind him gifting her plant because he thinks that flowers will wither away but plants will grow just like his love with Amy is not breaking by he breaking up with her but it will only grow with time and he also wrote that even after two years if they both still love each other and if she still wants him to be her partner then he will run to her so who he thought that at the start of affair that he will never leave his wife or amy slowly started to degrade himself by saying that he can't divorce his wife because of the child and now he's actually ready to divorce his wife with the time that after two years it will happen. Well all these things did not go well with Amy and she started to cry so badly and she drowned herself in lots of alcohol that resulted in her fainting and hurting her hand. Now she just straight away went to Shin Yushin's hospital. Of course this is the only chance for her to go and show him that how she can ruin herself if Shin Yushin leaves her immature of her. Well, she herself admitted that she's immature when he told they should break up that I am not mature enough to take this breakup. Well, she's indeed immature to start an affair with a middle-aged married man thinking that one day he will leave his family and respect and get on her as her husband. So that's how she admitted to his hospital which made him feel so bad for her. He immediately started to take care of her, he shifted her to the single room and he also force fed her food. And now it seems like God of Luck decided to not side with him anymore and he started to slowly move away from Shin Yushin. That's how means Sapiang's aunt who visited Sapiang's mother from Philippines she has come to take care of her sister. She was like 
so sad seeing her sister's condition and when she lost her consciousness she immediately shifted her to shinyushin's hospital because he's her son in law and there as soon as sapyong reached the hospital her aunt slapped her saying that even dogs are taken care of when they are sick now she is your mother and you did not take care of her well that slap was actually that's really deserved for sapyong because whatever she did with her mother irrespective of forget about she is not allowing her father to meet him whatever she did with her mother was very wrong and she also accused her that because of you i did not get married because i was scared to have a child like you well it might be true or not because i don't know exactly her aunt so i can't comment on it so all these things her mother's ill health and she losing the consciousness and her aunt slapping her everything came as a shock to sapyong she just wanted her husband so that she could lean on him but she got the shock of her life when she spotted shinyushin in the arms of amy that's when she realized that all through he was having his mistress by his side but he only fooled her because she trusted him so blindly out of shock she just collapsed over there and when shinyushin came out of the room he immediately rushed her to the ward and started to take care of her then as soon as she woke up she questioned her husband straightly looking into eyes that who is amy and you should see his face turned pale because that is what he was trying to hide all these days and he broke up with with his girlfriend because he don't want his wife to know about his affair and lose her lose his respect in her eyes and finally she got to know and i was happy because at least in season 2 halfway through we got to know that sapien finally found her husband's infidelity but 16 plus 8 24 of episodes was too much like they dragged it so much i wish sapien got to know about his infidelity before itself but better late than never now let me talk about the lusty and overconfident dongmi when dongmi's housekeeper spotted shinkirin's ghost though dongmi could not see it she immediately rushed to shinyushin's house saying that i see your father's ghost and you know i'm scared and all and then she started her planning she started to take care of the house she told sapium that she need not cook because she should rest up because she is working and then she made a huge plot around sapium to make her believe that domi only loves shinyushin and sapium being together that's how let me tell you domi started to tell about her sad story of how her father left her when she was so young i don't know if he was dead or he left his wife and she was like that's why i made shinyushin marry you because you were also a fatherless child just like me so i understand your pain and that's when sapyong fell and then when she told that so she wanted to have her own children she could not because she did not want to leave shinyushin because once she has her own child she will be biased and that's wrong with shinyushin because he never received love from his birth mother and this made sapyong tear up and she decided that from now she will not doubt dongmi and she will take care of her so all this drama went to an extent that sapyong even told to domi that she feels more comfortable around her step mother in law than her own mother so now domi is confident that sapyong will not judge her being a bad person or that she is behind shinyushin and later you see she started to plan things to get into the bed of shinyushin like she started to drug sapyong so that she'll uh, she'll fall asleep and then she started to show her torn legs by pulling up her skirt and then thought that shinyushin as soon as he sees her he will lift her in his arms laying her on the bed and she thought that she will hug him and then they'll sleep together well that all turned out to be her imagination and a failure because he just brought the blanket from her bedroom and put that on her well that was a futile effort of her and next thing she sent jia and sapyong to a concert and she planned everything like she started to make him uh, lie down and started to work on him like massaging him and all 
and she was about to kiss him that's when sapyam popped up <laughs> i i laughed so hard because that was the right moment i'm thankful for her friends parents in law who visited their house unnoticed so i mean like without any prior information and that's how sapyam did not have dinner and she came back home which pissed dong me so much i am amused to with her overconfidence because i agree that she is a uh, very pretty she looks much younger than her age and she's very smart she's talented she cooks so well but that doesn't change the relation between her and shin yushin because though she is not his birth mother she is still his step mother though he says that she is his first love i mean just like normal people have their father as their first love it it's like that like he told i don't think so he have any kind of romantic feelings towards her he's just happy just flirting with her and her confidence that he would leave his beautiful younger wife and will end up sleeping with his stepmother dongmi like her, look at her over confidence i can't stop laughing when she thinks so highly of herself now let's talk about the characters shin yushin basically has no reason to cheat on his wife because he himself tells that his wife is the world's best wife and then um uh, amy amy is like a person who has no quality that uh, his wife sapyong lacks well she has one quality but i don't think so that's necessary that amy is immature though she's 28 she behaves like she's 8 years old and 12 year jia is much matured than amy she came to korea to pursue her dreams of acting but what all she did was investing her valuable time in running behind a married man and dreaming that one day he will leave his wife and marry her like really do you think i mean which woman would start a relationship with a man who strictly says that he will never marry you he will never leave his family for you and what made you think that one day he might leave i mean like you should think one thing if he actually leaves his wife after saying all these things then remember he might leave you too in future and coming to that over acting over confident dong me how did she even dream that she can seduce shin yu shin i'm like though she raised him since young she did not understand a little bit of him he is not loyal or good person as he seems to be and i think since she seduced shin kirim and then pan mun hyo fell for her so bad that even after 40 years of wedding with some other women he still loves dong me maybe she thought that it would be a piece of cake to seduce shin yu shin because she raised him all along well if that becomes true then that means dongmi has gone wrong in upbringing him because which son will have romantic feelings towards his step mother and i don't know when dongmi started to feel for him maybe it was when she first met him or as he grew up to be a very handsome man i don't know but seems like she's having feelings for him for a long long time So talking about Sapyong I think Sapyong has seen her mother suffering because of her cheater husband so in the episode 1 of season 1 they were, when they were talking about cheating Sapyong was like you should never give your husband a chance to cheat on you I think that's the reason she put so many efforts to take care of herself she was uh, maintaining her physique personality her skin she cooks delicious meals and healthy meals she takes care of her husband home everything she even goes out in with his family and with him they go on a date so all these things are the signs of a perfect wife according to her like she lacked nothing but little did she know that though you were perfect in every sense if a man want to cheat he will cheat on you I think this is what a story writers are trying to convey that though Sapyong thought that not giving a chance might keep her husband with her but though she doesn't give a chance men will make out chances to make out with other women and that's how it happened though he says that his wife is very perfect he still had the urge and need to fulfill his desires with his mistress Amy because as i told is a man who cannot be satisfied with one woman so that's it with today's video if you like the video please like share and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video until then tata bye bye take care